Welcome to Camping with Steve. I'm in a pretty nice neighborhood today, so uh, I'm trying to blend in. I picked up this suit jacket from the thrift store for 10 bucks. I picked up this guy for $4.99, and I could fit all the camping gear in here. So I'll just walk around acting like I'm coming back from a big meeting downtown or something, uh, maybe meeting an important client, and then I'll slip into the woods when the time is right. So let's try this out. Well, car is parked and I'm heading down the trail here. It goes behind some homes and it's a little bit of a shortcut between two neighborhoods. So for all anybody knows, I'm just coming home from work. So if folks do get suspicious, I'll just pull out my phone and pretend I'm talking on it, you know. Bye bye, sell, sell. Lay it on real thick so they don't suspect a thing. But this is the area I wanna go into right here behind me but there's a fellow up there with his dog sitting on the bench I'm gonna wait for him to go uh, so I can sneak into the woods here um, it's time to go This spot is gonna work just fine. There is a trail right up there and I can actually see people going through there. I don't have the camo netting today, so I will be using um, just the low slung hammock. There is a house over there as well and it's pretty close. So I'm gonna wait for a little bit uh, before I set up the hammock. I'll let all these evening joggers finish their jog and uh, then we'll get down to the business of setting this up. In the meantime, I know just what to do. What's inside the bag? Here we go. Got a uh, sleeping bag, the hammock, which I'll take out of there. Um, got the isobutane, as well as, I hope the thermocell is in here. Yep. So I can turn this on to keep the bugs away flashlight which I'll use sparingly a little later on uh, I brought some onions because we're just doing some smoked sausages today because it's easy and we're working with a super small kit um, got the Thermarest uh, the Neo Air Pad I don't know if I'll use that tonight uh, the less gear I can set up the better generally and then I got uh, the stove telescopic uh, wiener roasters so I can cook the Smokies out here and uh, that'll be good so this is what I'm gonna do for right now just lay low and enjoy a frosty moosehead lager just heard a rumble of thunder and I went to check the uh, satellite here and we got something relatively substantial rolling in here doesn't look like it'll be too long of a storm but it definitely means I got to get this hammock set up and hopefully that'll get people off of these trails and I can get some dinner cooking before the Sun goes down and it gets too too dark Had to do some modifications on the hammock because otherwise I'd be sleeping right on the ground. Uh, it's a little higher on one side than I would like it to be, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue. There was somebody running through the woods not far from here, but they didn't seem to notice me and I just stayed put. 
And uh, a little trivia for some folks. Uh, if you've seen my videos before, I do some stealth camping. Now, this is the very first spot that I stealth camped in um, a couple years ago almost now. And I can't believe the nerve I had back then. Um, if <laughs> I've gotten a lot more careful over the years. If I saw this spot now, this close to the trail and the house, there's no possible way I would attempt it. I would keep looking for somewhere a little bit better, but uh, it adds to the thrill, I guess. The rain hasn't come yet, so I think while I still got a chance, I'm gonna walk with you guys up to the trail just to show you how close it is, because uh, this is quite the thing. So, yeah, that's what's going on. Now I'm just gonna scope this from up here to see how obvious I am, which I think I could be. <laughs> if I zoom in from up here, I can kinda see the ridge of the hammock going to want to be out of here very early in the morning. is just rolling in now and I love a good storm. I haven't cooked yet because when I looked at the radar I thought the storm would have blown past long ago but it's been taking its time which is why I'm a YouTuber and not a meteorologist. So I'm gonna be cooking in the dark here of course as I always seem to be doing but uh, that's no hardship for me. I like to eat a little bit late so we're gonna probably sit here for half an hour watch this storm and then we will get something uh, cooking to eat and assess the damage uh, if anything blows over in the wind. I didn't get a chance to check for any um, widow makers or dead trees around here, so I hope the wind isn't too bad. Now the storm's blowing in pretty severely. Uh, the rain's starting to come down and the wind is whipped up and the lightning just won't stop. So I'm gonna see if I can film a little bit of that lightning because this is, this is just what I like, a good storm. Hammock is the absolute perfect thing for this. I'm bone dry and I'd be drenched if I was a foot on the outside of this thing. This is awesome. issues with that storm. Uh, we got through that pretty good. And this Hennessy hammock is the uh, perfect tool for the job. It really keeps you nice and dry. If I was two feet over, yeah, wouldn't want to be here right now. I'd be going back to the car. That means dinner time. Holy man. I don't even know if I'm going to caramelize those onions. I was planning on it, but uh, a raw sweet Vidalia is a, a perfectly acceptable topping for a hot dog or smoked sausage. Let's 
see. What do I have in my bag of tricks here? <laughs> oh, Johnsonville to the rescue, of course. There we go. Onions, pre-diced, so convenient at various grocery stores. This is a Safeway, which we have in Canada. And you know, I think it's time to have a little hot dog roast here. The rain has stopped, but there's still the pitter-patter above us from the rain falling off the leaves. And that should make for a severely relaxing sleep. Should be good enough to eat right now. We're fancy today. Uh, Dijon in there. Put it in the bun first so it doesn't end up on my beard slash mustache. Never go wrong with these onions. Oh yeah. First one down. This should be good. Oh yes, this is going to be a gluttonous evening um, with all these things here, but um, before I get too further on, I will give a shout out, of course, to all the friends here, which I wish were here with me tonight, um, for helping make these things possible. I've kind of invested some money into some new gear in order to get to stealthier spots so there's smaller gear there's lighter gear and um, stuff that can fit into this luggage here and uh, so much thanks to all you guys mm. this is way too delicious the life here under the tarp with um, with all my YouTube friends and yep we're gonna get more of the stealth stuff going I've got like six to eight stealth ones planned here so there's gonna be stealth don't you worry about that uh, just trying to keep everybody happy right that's the <laughs> secret for success try to please everyone <laughs> but uh, cheers everybody and time to just Pick out on these and crawl into the sack. Along the ridge line of this hammock, there's uh, some pockets, which work good for a cell phone. Yeah, won't be losing that. And it's about time to get to bed, to um, turn in for the night, so to speak. Um, if only there was another word for that. Anyhow, this little sleeping bag should do the job. Oh, yes. You probably should pull this out at the start of the evening to let everything loft up, but it's not really that cold tonight, so not very concerned about that issue. suit jacket in here. This, uh, I don't want it to be too wrinkly in the morning. So I'm going to try and hang it over the ridge line here somewhere so that it can... Ooh, I'm getting a little water on there.
Good morning. That was a pretty good sleep. I was nice and warm. Um, nobody came around. There were no dogs running through the campsite this morning when I woke up. Uh, the hammock did get a little low, so I was scraping on the ground a little bit, but that's okay. It wasn't, uh, wasn't all that bad. Uh, the rain that we had really helped keep the hikers off of these secondary trails here. I was kind of expecting early morning recreational enthusiasts to be perusing the forest, uh, but no such luck, so that's good. Uh, I did hear one or two people on the main trail up there, and that's about it. Um, last time I camped here, there was like a veritable marathon. Uh, I could hear like people talking, laughing, jogging, and carrying on up there as I was uh, packing up. This time, majestic. It is uh, pure heaven this time. So I'll shake the rain off of this guy and start packing up so that I don't overstay my welcome and tempt fate. Final little sweep here to make sure I haven't forgotten anything, like garbage or supplies. And be out of here in just a second. Really, uh, really calm day. We had a lot of smoke here uh, from wildfires for the last week or so. So that was kind of what inspired making the smoked sausages, was that it was so smoky. But uh, that's all cleared up. Um, that rain certainly didn't hurt um, freshening things up. So all looks good around here. I haven't found the lens cap when I filmed my first uh, stealth camping video. I lost the lens cap off the camera. And I've never since lost another lens cap, but that was like, I thought a bad omen, like lose the lens cap the first time I'm out filming. But uh, yeah. It'll turn up one of these days, I think. So, I am out of here. Just like that, we're back on the trail. Perfect crime. All right, uh, the car didn't get broken into. One of the perks of camping in a nicer area. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be heading on out of here. I don't know what I'm going to be filming next week, to be honest. Uh, it might be stealthy, it might be a little creative, I'm not sure. Um, I know it's probably a little bit of a shorter video than some of you might want, uh, but um, <laughs> the rain kind of got in the way of, uh, of filming a lot of stuff during the evening, so that's the way it goes with a weekly unscripted YouTube show. show. <laughs> so. I'm gonna get to uh, a donation box and drop this stuff off that I bought because it's just gonna end up in the closet that never to be used again probably and it barely buttons up. Um, or maybe I could keep it for motivation to shed a few pounds, I don't know. Uh, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, if you like this stuff, um, subscribe uh, if, you're, uh, if you're feeling so generous. And we will see you next Thursday. Cheers everyone.